My name is Alan Hawes, and this is PSOC 101. The status register lesson shows how to get information out of the hardware. The control register works the other way. It allows the firmware to generate control signals for use in the hardware. We're going to use the control register to pick channels in a digital multiplexer and control the brightness of an LED without actually having to change the PWM compare value. First, make a copy of the PWM project we did a while back. It has the PWM and the red LED set up the way we need them. Edit the period in the compare value for the PWM so that the duty cycle is 25%. Use the full range of the 16-bit PWM by setting the period to 65,535 and the compare value to 16,383. You may have noticed that the PWM has two outputs, line and line in. So far, we have just been using the line. Line in is the complement output. If line has a 25% duty cycle, line in has a 75% duty cycle. From one PWM, you can drive an LED at two different intensities. What you need to do now is add a multiplexer component that will let you control which of the signals goes to the LED pin. Add a digital MUX and edit it to have just two input signals. Connect the multiplexer input terminals to the line and the line in of the PWM. Then connect the MUX output to the pin. Now grab a control register and add it to the schematic. It only needs to be a one-bit register. Wire it to the select input on the multiplexer, and now you have a design that will switch LED brightness under the control of the firmware. Before writing the C code, you should generate the API files. In C, create a num channels pound define and a variable to remember the current MUX channel. In the main loop, simply increment the channel number and write it to the register. Once you reach the maximum, cycle back to zero which corresponds to the first channel of the multiplexer. You should be able to reproduce this design without too many difficulties. To make it more interesting, extend it to cycle between four brightness levels by adding states for fully on and fully off. Make the MUX four bits wide and put a logic low and a logic high on the zeroth and third inputs. The tricky part compared to the example we just did is that you have to use a bus to control the multiplexer. As always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com. 